Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve it on your own first. Then come on back and let's check your work. All right, third grade, welcome back. Let's go ahead and see how you did. So I see that this problem is a matching item question um, with true and false. It says determine whether each equation, that means that we have equal signs, which we notice right here, Okay, is true or false. False means not true. All right, so what we need to do is, I see two sides of the equation, and the cool thing about an equation is that if it's equal, both sides must have the same value. So what we need to do is find the value of the left side and the right side and see if they are equal. If they are, we'll pick true, and if they're not, we'll pick what? False, that's right. Okay. So you can help me out with this one. We've got this side over here. It says 32 divided by eight. 32 divided by eight is what? Four, right? Good. And on this side, four times eight equals what? 32. Now is four equal to 32? No, right? That is not true, which means that we need to select which one, true or false. False, very good. Okay, next one. So we have two times 10, which is what? 20, okay? And then five times four on the right side, which has a product of what? 20, that's right. And is 20 equal to 20? Yes, those are equivalent values. So we can go ahead and select true or false. True. And now for the last one. So on the left side, we have five times zero, and any time we have a factor of zero, the product is also zero. And then on the right side, we have 45 divided by nine. What is 45 divided by nine? Yeah, it's five. Okay, is zero equal to five? No, that is not equal, it's not equivalent, it's not true, so it must be what? False. So we'll go ahead and go over and select the false one. So if this were a computer-based test, you would go ahead and just check which answer you want to pick. That is it for this problem, so make sure that you pause the video if there are any notes that you still need to copy on your paper, and then when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight, out of mind. I know that you're busy, so why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate, you take care of it, and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again, and I cannot wait to see you inside the free course!